here. Another Chinese fantasy novel FAQ. I'm going to answer the question, how long does it take to translate a chapter from a Chinese fantasy novel, specifically a web novel? I've got this question many times in question and answer sessions and on other occasions, so I guess people are pretty interested in it. For any of you who aren't too familiar with how the industry works, when the novels are originally published in Chinese, the authors usually do it one chapter at a time, sometimes multiple chapters per day. And of course, the translators, they tend to also release them one chapter at a time, sometimes more than one chapter at a time, but generally speaking, one chapter at a time. And as the industry developed, some translators started allowing for sponsored chapters, which meant that readers could donate money to get the chapters to come faster, and then they would get their name attached to it. Later, other ways to incentivize the translators came along. That's what led to translators being able to do it full time. That's what I do. Of course, that also made a lot of people wonder exactly how much time is being spent on these chapters to translate a single chapter. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Every translator is different. Every chapter is different. Every author is different. So there's no perfect answer. However, over my years of translating more than a thousand chapters, and now I'm closing in on 2,000 chapters, I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of the time involved. And I've also had conversations with other translators, some of them very experienced, and I think generally most of us have kind of the same thing in mind. Before I get into the answer to the question, let me tell a little story. And that is about when I first started to translate I Shall Seal the Heavens, which was my first major web novel, Chinese fantasy novel project that I completed. Now, going into that project, I had already translated four uh, Chinese fantasy novels, all of them Wuxia novels, and relatively short compared to I Shall Seal the Heavens and the other uh, long-form web novels. I think that by the time I got into I Shall Seal the Heavens, I'd probably translated something to the equivalent of maybe 150 or 200 chapters of the web novel format, which is usually about 2,000 Chinese characters. So when I started I Shall Seal the Heavens, I was definitely not an absolute beginner, but compared to where I am now, I feel like I was definitely, you know, definitely in the beginning stages of my development as a translator. As of this point, I've translated almost 1,500 chapters of Chinese fantasy web novels in addition to the stuff I did before. Point is that when I started out with I Shall Seal the Heavens, I, I kind of knew what I was doing. And this story is about the very first full day off of work that I had after I chose to start translating I Shall Seal the Heavens. And when that day came, I decided that I really wanted to just bust out a whole bunch of chapters and, and see how it went. Uh, at the time, Ren, he's the translator of Coiling Dragon and right now Desolate Era, one of the more experienced translators, especially at the time. I remember him telling me beforehand that I should not try to do more than two or three chapters a day. He, he said doing four chapters a day uh, can be very stressful and, and difficult to do. But of course it was my first day, so I was like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do four chapters. And I did. I translated four full chapters of I Shall Seal the Heavens on that first day. I can't remember, I think I had translated a couple chapters before that uh, during my normal work week. This was back when I had a full-time job. So I had a couple chapters under my belt and I busted out those four chapters. As far as how long it took me, I'm pretty sure I woke up you know, relatively early in the morning, something like, I don't know, 8.30 or 9.30 or something. And I spent all day doing it. I took some breaks to eat lunch and dinner, go to the bathroom and stuff. But other than that, I didn't do anything except for transate. And I didn't finish till something like 9.30 or 10.30 at night. And I remember sending an email to Ren being like, I've translated four chapters today. And he was like, wow, that was awesome. So it's hard to say exactly how much time I spent on those chapters, but I basically went 12 to 14 hours straight with a few breaks here and there. So... I'm guessing somewhere between three and four hours per chapter. Now, that was way back in the very beginning. Uh, one of the things about translating, especially web novels, is that you start to get used to the author, to their style of writing, to their conventions, and that makes it a lot easier. Your first trans, the, the first chapter you do of some given off author is gonna be a lot harder than the 500th chapter you do. You just get used to them and you get better at it. So let's assume that you're talking about a translator who is translating 
an average chapter from the author that they're familiar with. Now keep in mind, of course, chapters are different. Sometimes there are chapters that just are really simple and flow. Then there's the chapters that have like prophecies or poetry or Taoist philosophy that you need to research. And those, you know, the minutes can add up very quickly and then you're talking about hours. That having been said, forgetting those really hard ones, on average, I think that most translators nowadays um, that are experienced and are relatively quick should be able to get a chapter done between an hour and two hours. Any translator who's going more than four hours, that's getting into the to the realm of it's not possible to go that slow and make a living off of it. Usually, uh, first of all, the audience is gonna the audiences nowadays expect a much higher release rate. So you know if you're only doing one chapter in four hours, you're not going to be able to do very many per week. Um, so going back to the hour to two hours per chapter, actually, toward the end of my I Shall Seal the Heavens project, I got very curious about this question of how much time I was spending per chapter. And this is back when I was actually translating two different stories at one time. I had picked up a Will Eternal and was translating a couple chapters per week, and then I was mostly translating I Shall Seal the Heavens. And so for a couple weeks straight, I actually used a stopwatch and I timed exactly how long it took me to translate each chapter every single day for the entire week for all of the books that I did. Now, in addition to noticing some trends uh, on a personal level in terms of what hours of the day I was most efficient and what day of the week I was most efficient and which novel I was most efficient at, in addition to those trends, basically I averaged out the times of all those chapters and came to find that it was a little more than an hour, something like an hour or 15 minutes or so. That was my average. And I think that's a, a pretty solid average. An hour, hour and 15 minutes for a translator that's very experienced and moving relatively quickly, it should be able to do about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. Now, of course, that does not take into account editing, proofreading, getting the chapter ready for release and all those other things. Th that can add time onto it as well. Occasionally, you're going to run into one of those chapters where, you know, the sun and the moon align and everything um, just clicks into place and you're going at top speed. There's no distractions and bam, you maybe can finish a chapter in 45 minutes. I personally think that 45 minutes is about the fastest you can do it and maintain good quality. There are definitely some translators out there who by various means are able to go even faster than the fastest of the normal translators and maybe they can do tran they can do chapters of the standard length um, faster than 45 minutes but I personally can't and I think the average translator can't. Occasionally I'll run into a chapter where I do it, I do it in 30 minutes and I'm just like oh my god what happened and then I go back and check and it was a short chapter you know like instead of being 2,000 Chinese characters it was or sorry, instead of being 3,000 Chinese characters, it's 2,000. By the way, I, I just realized I think I may have misspoken a few minutes ago and said that the chapters are 2,000 Chinese characters. I'm sorry, that was a mistake. The chapters are 3,000 Chinese characters, which for me tends to be about 2,000 English words, give or take, here or there. Okay, for any of you who are following this series, I have a whole bunch of questions. I have some that are coming up that require some extra equipment I have to get and extra research I have to do and extra preparations to make. So those really cool videos are coming up. I hope to throw in a few of the easy ones like this where I don't have to do a lot of research. Please hit me up with any suggestions you have and I'll see you next time.